Welcome back everybody to another Daikon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be checking out Three Dog Night, Mama Told Me Not to Come. Okay? Now, um, this one I'm not sure if I've heard it before. Uh, I said in my last video reacting to Three Dog Night that I wanted to do more Three Dog Night songs because, you know, I really like them. Also have a Harry Nelson song that I want to do because why not? But, um... Yeah, uh, I went on here. I'm not sure if I've heard this one before. There's two versions, right? There's a live version that has uh, 16 million views, and it's from 12 years ago. Then there's the, I guess, the album version. They're both around the same length, but the album version looks like it has, it's 3 minutes and 19 seconds, and the live version is 3 minutes and 1 second. Um, I kind of... I want to see them perform live. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen them before, uh, except in the pictures that we saw in the last video. So anyway, I think I'm going to check out the live version. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I've got the lyrics pulled up. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Daniel, aka Deathstroke9, and here we react to music, and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. And, I, and we just enjoy some great music. If that sounds interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, let me know what other Three Dog Night songs I should check out down below in the description. Uh, not in the description, in the comments. And link to the original video will be down below in the description. Let's get into this. Three Dog Night, Mama Told Me Not to Come from 1970. Looks like a live version. Let's go. Three, two, one. Eigen, twee, twee, twee. Want some whiskey in your water, sugar in your tea? What's all this crazy question you're asking me? This is the craziest party that could ever be. Don't turn on the lights, cause I don't wanna see. Mama told me not to come. Oh Lord, Mama told me not to come. She said, that ain't the way I find no. up the window let some air to this room i think i'm almost choking from the smell of stale perfume and that cigarette you're smoking about scare me half to death open up the window sucker let me catch my breath mama told me not to go oh lord mama oh, no. told me not to go she said Blasting, someone's knocking on the door. I'm looking at my girlfriend, she's passed out on the floor. I'm just gonna pause it there and say, He said someone's knocking at the door, and then the bass went doom, 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 or maybe whatever instrument did that, right? Um, earlier, he said, Let some air in, and you heard that like little sound effect, or not even a sound effect, that like feedback or whatever that sounded like wind coming through. I really like the uh the ambience of the song where they're like adding these sound effects using their instruments to tell the story or assist in telling the story love it all right um loving it so far audio quality is a little bit low um i tried to turn it up for you guys uh yeah hopefully that worked but let's keep going i've seen so many things i ain't never seen before I don't know what it is. Somebody shut that door. Mama told me not to go. Oh, Lord. Mama told me not to go. She said, that ain't the way to happen. Son, that ain't the way to happen. No. Mama, 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 she told me. Mama, mama, she said, hey, 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 hey. I wanna, 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 I wanna,
Okay. There's a lot of them. I like it. Um, song. Classic story. IMO. It just sounds very, like, yeah. It sounds like a story a lot of people probably could relate to. Yeah, the Fear of Partying song was released in 1966, four years before this hit version of it was released. The writer was Randy Newman, known for his songs, film scores, and satirical streak. It was written for Eric Burden and the Animals. The song topped the charts in the U.S. and reached number four in the U.K. It's from the band's fourth album, It Ain't Easy, which contained hits written by an eclectic group of well-known artists such as Elton John and Paul Williams. So let's go through the story that they're telling here. First, we've got the intro. Uh, an electric piano lead-in, very faithful to songwriter's version, um, except the latter is much slower, storytelling presentation style. Yes. Want some whiskey in your water? Sugar in your tea? What's all these crazy questions you're at? Oh, sugar in your tea. Oh. Adding water to ice or whiskey adds to the flavor of the drink. He turns it around, adding whiskey to water. For what? Change the water's flavor? Maybe to establish that the narrator is already loaded sugar in your tea yes that's what i thought okay the the height of the drug scene peak use of lsd was often turned into a liquid solution was often turned into a liquid solution then dipped in a sugar cube to administer the drug oh geez dropping an lsd infused sugar cube into someone's tea would be an easy way to dose an unsuspecting party goer without their knowledge Perhaps that explains the line, I'm looking at my girlfriend, she's passed out on the floor. And this person writes, um, the cigarette you're smoking is about to scare me half to death is marijuana. Uh, sugar in your tea could allude to LSD. However, no one passes out on LSD. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, what are all these crazy questions you're asking me? He doesn't understand, you know? And that's, so mama told me not to come. He's, like, completely oblivious to a lot of this stuff. He's like, I've seen things I've never seen before. Let's see. Don't turn on the... This is the crazy, craziest party that could ever be. Don't turn on the lights, because I don't want to see. He's like, damn, I should not have come here. <laughs> uh, Mama told me not to come. That ain't the way to have fun. Uh, Randy Newman's songs generally pick us... I know Randy Newman, so that's interesting that he wrote this. Generally pick a subject, many con well, I don't actually know him. <laughs> I just know the name. Many controversial ones see Birmingham or short people and assumes the obnoxious character and delivers a funny but scathing critique of society and its attitude to then-present issues. In this case, a supposedly innocent young man falling into a 60s party scene with its blasting music, heavy drinking, drugs, and the consequences. The mama is the one with the voice of reason, probably a metaphor to the internal voice inside the poor guy's head. Well, I think it's... Yeah, I mean, the mother told him not to go to parties like this. There are other ways to have a good time than just getting high and going to parties. Yeah. Um, again, by the Jimmy Greenspoon keyboards, allowing the transition to the rap-like delivery of the next verse. As most of the verses, rap-like delivery? That's what he called that? That's interesting. Hmm. Open up your window, let some air into this room. Yeah, I guess kind of. Let some air into this room. I think I'm almost choking from the smell of stale perfume, and the cigarette you're smoking is about to scare me half to death. Open up the window, sucker. Let me catch my breath. Still addressing the unknown person, this time is alluding openly to the dope being smoked. Nowhere in the lines uh, are drugs mentioned clearly, helping the song slip past the heavy hand of music censorship. Yeah, the Beatles, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, although it has been denied as having anything to do with drugs, and specifically LSD, has nevertheless been banned by the BBC in the UK. Really? <clears throat> also, wait, what? Really? You're going to tell me Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? I don't know if I've ever even heard the song. I probably have. But I know... Yeah, I don't know if I've heard the entire song. I remember it coming on the radio once and my dad being like, yeah, this song's about, is like secretly about drugs. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is an acronym. <laughs> uh, anyway, Mama told me not to come, repeated the chorus. It was written for Eric Burden of the Animals. That's crazy. 
All right, then there's a bridge. Okay. Then the radio is blasting, someone knocking on the door. I'm looking at my girlfriend. She's passed out on the floor. I've seen so many things I ain't never seen before. I don't know what it is, and I don't want to see anymore. Almost like a description of the set for a scene of a movie. Three completely unrelated aspects that let the observer or listener enter the mood of the place. Although someone knocking at the door sounds less related, probably police coming in. He's not alarmed enough to act. Help his girlfriend. She's only part of the props. This the scene could make Animal House's participants cringe. The reaction of a naive, non-hip person to the party scene he encounters in the party, and he realizes that Mama was right. While it is his story, Randy Newman actually criticizes the drug culture of the 60s, primarily its effect on people like the made-up narrator. Mama told me not to come. That ain't the way to have fun. Ain't the way to have fun, no. Ain't the way to have fun, son. And that's it. There you go. Uh, the electric piano with an addition of one discordant note to end it all, implying that perhaps he passed out. Great song. Um, I want to listen to the album version now. I'm going to, but I'm not going to. Uh, eh, you know what? All right, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. Deathstroke 9 out. And I'm going to listen to the album version in this video, just because, okay? Um, it'll probably be a little bit louder. It might be, I don't know. I just, I would just want to hear it. I don't know if I have. I don't think I've heard that song before. I'm going to reset my audio levels back where they were before. Let's go. Mama told me not to come. listen to the album version too the live version was cool to see them playing it um but uh this song has this this has like an atmosphere to it like the keys or whatever that is do 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 and like the little bits of feedback going through it sounds like it's hazy it's it, it adds to the overall remember i said a minute ago there's like an ambient thing going on with the live version this one has a lot of that too let's keep going <laughs> knocking at the door I'm looking at my girlfriend she passed out on the floor I see so many things I ain't never seen before don't know what it is I don't want to see no more Mama told me not to come
Yeah, that ending note definitely sounds like it's like, we're out. Okay. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. Deathstroke 9.